Hello, welcome back. We are here at Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose, Texas, where we are going to go exploring, see some dinosaur tracks, hopefully see some wildlife. Uh, I love this park. We've been here a bunch of times and it's always fun to explore. So let's go see what we can find. Look, here's a little example of what the prints are gonna look like when we find them out by the rivers. This, the Dinosaur Valley track impressions were made on broad, shallow tidal flats consisting of sticky, limey mud. Through the action of the tides, the imprint slowly filled with clay and silt particles. You see this map here shows where every place there's a footprint that is a different track site. And there is a small museum area inside when you first go in to get your permits. This is my favorite thing ever. Do you want me to take your picture? Yes, please. His name is Marvin, by the way. His name is Marvin? That is incredible. So we're here at the main site and it gives a little bit of history of the man who discovered the tracts, Roland T. Bird, and we're gonna go hike down to that area. Here you can see some of the main set of dinosaur tracks. All of these right here.
going. These dinosaurs we just read were transported here after appearing in the 1964 World's Fair in New York. How amazing is that? that's going to wrap up our adventure here at Dinosaur Valley State Park. I do want to leave you with a poem and I thought what better place to do it than here in the presence of the mighty T-Rex. Uh, and so appropriately we're going to read W.B. Yeats uh, from Ireland. But uh, this is The Stolen Child and it's another one of my favorites. So where dips the rocky highland of Sleuth Wood in the lake, there lies a leafy island where flapping herons wake. The drowsy water rats, there we've hid our fairy vats full of berries and of reddest stolen cherries. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Where the wave of moonlight glosses the dim gray sands with light, far off by furthest rosses, we footed all the night. Weaving olden dances, mingling hands and mingling glances, till the moon has taken flight. To and fro we leap, and chase the frothy bubbles, while the world is full of troubles, and is anxious in its sleep. Come away, O human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Where the wandering water gushes from the hills above Glen Carr, in pools among the rushes, that scarce could bay the star, we seek for slumbering trout, and whispering in their ears, give them unquiet dreams, leaning softly out from ferns that drop their tears, over the young streams. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Away with us he's going, the solemn-eyed, he'll hear no more the lowing of the calves on the warm hillside, or the kettle on the hob sing peace into his breast, or see the brown mice bob round and round the oatmeal chest. For he comes, the human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, from a world more full of weeping than he can understand.